Man, I love, I love coming here, man. I love oh, you it. You feel that love? You feel that love? You feel the love? I love it. You feel I love that it. love? I love it. I love it. They love you, buddy. I love coming here, man. This is a great, great, great spot. Well, man. I mean, we love having you here. You're hosting Saturday Night Live. Yes, sir. How's it going, bud? It's going great. I literally just left, uh, you know, rehearsal just now, going through the blocking and stuff oh. like that. And it's a, it's a machine, and they are so fantastic and gritted what they do. It, it's been it's been a great process. Can you talk to me about the pillow? Oh yeah, the pillow. Okay, so I, <laughs> I walk into the office and um, they're like, all right, this might be weird. This might be a little weird. Uh, we actually have been living with you for the last 10 years. I said, living with the last 10 years? What are you talking about? And he was like, well, it was one of the uh, one of the producer's birthday and it was a, uh, one of the other employees there got her a uh, pillow, right? And it was a, a life-size, uh, almost like a pregnancy pillow. Of, of me, printed on both sides. And I'm like, wait, you guys had this for how long? It's been there for 10 years. It's been there for a decade. You brought us a photo. I got, I got a photo of it. And I'm like, I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, wait, wait, wait. I said, whose pillow is that? And you know, the lady was like, oh, it's, it's mine. And she was like, listen, our hours here are so crazy. Everybody takes naps, you know, at some point during the day. I was like, so wait. Every lady in here has slept with me at some point <laughs> over the last That's 10 years. Exactly right. And they were like, yes, actually, Absolutely. everybody has That's at one exactly point. Right. Yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> uh, that was cool. Uh, I, I gotta say, uh, uh, Black Panther, uh, Wakanda Forever came out. There were rumors. <laughs> it was fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There was rumors, are you gonna be in it? Are you not gonna be in it? And when I saw you in interviews, you're like, I'm, I'm not in this at all. If you have seen it or don't plan on seeing it, maybe just mute your TV for a second. <laughs> you are in it. Yeah, I am in it. Uh, and uh, yeah. it was great. Thank you. It Thank was you. awesome. How hard is it to keep that secret? It's tough, you know. I think I think this time around, you know, because you know we, we lost our brother Chadwick, you know, um, rest in peace to, to, to Chadwick Boseman, and uh, it was so much weight and, and so much. Um, uh, just trying to power through, you know, and Ryan, you know, Kugler had such a, uh, you know, a tremendous task in front of him to evolve the script and the story in a way that still kind of honored Chadwick, but moved the franchise forward as well. So for me to be able to come back, you know, and I had to really keep it under wraps, you know, I had to grow my hair out, you know, I got, I got the locks back in and stuff like that. And, you know, I'm traveling a lot of places, so I got, you know, wear a hat, a hoodie, you know, fly private, which isn't too bad of a thing. <laughs> <laughs> but but being able to keep me on uh, you know keep it under wraps was really a tough. Thing were you doing through. Creed three at the same time? Yeah, we were both shooting down at the Atlanta, at, in Atlanta at the same time, so that made it a little bit easier to be able to bounce around from studios. But it was a hard thing to to keep to keep under wraps. How, how do you do? First of all, you not only star in Creed three, mm -hmm. you produced it, and this is you directed it. Mm -hmm. This is your directorial <laughs> debut. Yeah, yeah. You crushed it. Thank you. You crushed Thank it, buddy. You, man. Thank you. <laughs> uh, what, what, how, how, how do you like directing your Yourself. I, I love it, you know. It, it's, it's, you get along with yourself? Yeah, just a little bit. I mean, I have yeah. lead actors, a bit of an ass, but you know, you got the performance out of it. Yeah. <laughs> What's it like directing with gloves on? It's it's tough, you know. You're you're you know, you got mouthpiece in sometimes, you got gloves, you always depending on so many people. Your your team is everything, you know? So to be able to be in the middle of a boxing scene. Honestly, it's sometimes easier because I can direct while I'm acting. You know, if I needed to move you upstage a little bit, I just move a little bit like this, and then I get the shot that I need. Because I'm already, I'm kind of low key cheating, because I'm like editing while I'm actually while acting, acting a little bit. Like, so yeah, you, all of a sudden you just start moving, moving around the way, scene. You're like, oh, oh yeah, you're, you're finding this your way. light. Find <laughs> uh, so it's yeah, so it was fun. It was did you, fun. Did you get to talk to any other uh, directors beforehand? And reached out to a lot of directors. I got, you know, I'm blessed to have, you know, you know, Denzel Washington, Ryan Coogler, Stephen Caper, John Favreau, uh, um, Bradley Cooper. You know, like I reached oh. out to like the community of directors, and everybody gave me great advice. But and one of the greatest advices I got was from um, was from Bradley Cooper and John Favreau. They was basically like, get your first shot off as quickly as possible. Like it's one of the it's one of the like it, it, it can checklist. slow down your entire day. You know, if you don't get that first shot off very early, you're, you're probably not going to make your day. So as soon as you get it off, the train's rolling and the machine just won't stop. So you're more than likely to get more shots than you. I love that advice. Need. Yeah. That's good. Thank you. Uh, I, you know, I, 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 I watch these movies and I go, well, there's no way it can, they can make the shots look different in a boxing ring or it. You did it again. Thank you. Thank it's something you, thank else. You. It feels like you're in the ring. Like I've never. I, again, I've seen you know the Rockies. I've seen the Creeds. Mm. But what was it? This thing was like. It's insane. You actually see skin flapping and <laughs> blah. I go. 
Uh, how did you change the game again? We were just, you know, I think I got, it was a gift and a curse. You know, there's been, you know, eight other movies before me, you know, and we've shot, you can sh shoot a boxing match so many different ways. I think because I was kind of put in a corner. It kind of forced me to be more creative and really find, like, think outside the box of how to make the fights different. Yeah. So we shot all the fights in IMAX. And also, I, I had a huge Japanese Japanese anime influence on a lot of my fighters. I'm an anime nerd. So I found, I found, I found unique ways to kind of, to, to, exactly. And then, <laughs> yeah. and then, dude, it was it's like. A thing and a thing. And yeah. Then, okay, all right. I watched as a fan. I'm just enjoying. You put the work in, man. I was yes, like, sir. oh, it was great. Jonathan Majors, by the way, cool. is who you go up against. Dude. My brother's incredible, man. Dude is jacked in this movie. Yes, he is. Both my of you guys are. I thought, like, <laughs> you, I go, oh, my God, that's uh, Michael B. Jordan. Uh -huh. I go, then he shows to get ready, because he shows up, and I'm like, wow. He is in the most insane shape that I've ever seen. And we needed we needed somebody that was going to be, you know, an antagonist, but somebody intimidating. We wanted to make Adonis feel like an underdog. So when you see Jonathan Majors, he looks like he can beat the crap out of whoever. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, and he plays it perfectly. Yes. You, you feel for him, and then you don't. Then you, you reach the punk. Uh, you know what I mean? Then you're like, I, I, I want you to win. You know? I, I think it's more interesting to have like an antagonist that has depth to him. Like you, like, he's not just a you know twirl the mustache, haha, I'm a bad guy. Yeah, it's exactly. Like, yeah. You gotta understand, you know, why he is the way he is. It was well done. Man. <laughs> how, how do we how do we set this up? Creed three. Creed three. I think it's about you know um, you can't really outrun your past. You know, you have to kind of like look inward to you know to uh, and you have you have to face your demons in order to move forward in life. You know, yeah. you can't just keep moving forward without actually reflecting. I I think, uh, you know, childhood trauma, those transformative years, things that you've been through, you have to face those things in order to have the courage to move forward to do new things. And I, I think that's a big part of our film. Uh, and it, uh, Adonis Creed mm -hmm. sees a, someone from his past that was, it was one of his old buddies and just returns and he's trouble, man. <laughs> he's trouble. He's trouble. He turns yeah. Adonis' world upside down and uh, he has to kind of uh, move dude, backwards to move forward. Checkmate. My man. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Check me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Michael B. Jordan in Creed 3. Take a look at this. Hey, my man. Can I help you? Let me get an autograph. No, nah, I ain't signing an autograph, but you get off my car. Oh, holy. You don't remember me, huh? Come a long way from bumming rides from your mom. Damn. Boy, you, you had, you had, you had me. <laughs> Damien. Yeah, just got back to the hood. Stopped by the old gym, but uh. Yeah, we upgraded a couple years ago. Huh? See. Damn, it's 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 uh. It's been a minute. Been a minute. Woo! <laughs> Michael B. Jordan Creed Three is in theaters and IMAX March. Third, Michael is hosting Saturday Night Live this weekend. We'll be guest, little baby. We'll be right back with more Tonight Show, everybody. Come on back. Hey, hey.